Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. It is 2 o'clock, 28 seconds actually until 2 when this 30-minute candle closes here on the Dow and a new one begins. Stop, sell, order or sell, stop, order depending on how you like to say it. Right here below the wick. This is not my actual stop or targets. I'm just getting the marker set up so you can see what I'm thinking here. There we go. New candle has begun. Two minute chart on the right hand side. Here we go. Sell stop. You can see it there. Right there, bear with me. Just heading over to my own platform, making sure my brackets are in the right position. Looking for this mo mo momentum. The mo mo mo, the mo momentum. I like a rap. Just a, not a very good one. To continue. Momentum to continue. Momentum to continue. Risking 53 points on this. Let's make it 50. To make 100. 2 to 1. Target is 609. 34,609. Here we go. Coming out of the um, twilight zone here. It's already been a very significant move down, of course. See the daily here is very bearish. And a bearish configuration, one, two, three down days. The first was a big shift day. That was Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Tuesday broke one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight recent highs in a row and many other days, of course, before that as well. And now we've broken that low yesterday and then today we've broken yesterday's low. I'll put you on pause for now so we can prevent this video from being too long. But you can see what I'm looking for. This is a live order looking to break through here to continue lower. Pause. Looking like it wants to drop down here a little bit. Let's see if we can break through. And in, guys, I'm triggered. In more ways than one. Emotionally triggered. <laughs> Not really. But this is an extended move. Makes it more difficult uh, psychologically to, to take for many traders. And I'm no exception. But I'm just following the routine. down a little bit here for those who haven't been here for or followed my videos for a couple of weeks. This is the new way I'm tracking uh, trade performance it is one R, one and a half R, two R as a starting point and then uh, uh, dynamic in trade management along the way. I'll also likely discuss what 
some traders may do under these certain scenarios to allow for newer traders to hear dip different ways to manage um, manage trades and to think about things in different ways and that's really the goal behind doing that put you on pause for now i'll bring you back three sisters are more or less in sync now in terms of directional move uh, and breaking new lows and, and things like that and things of that nature but uh, we are beyond two and a half standard deviations on the Dow and that too is psychologically problematic it's different difficult to to sell into that when we know historically that is often an overextended uh, move at least temporarily but here we are Let's see how this goes And back on pause. So not much going on right now. I will take you over to the 30-minute uh, chart. We'll take a look, closer look at this and the various zones. We can now revise this zone, just get rid of it completely. I want to go over and see what we got going on way over here. See why I put that as clean traffic. Ah, there's that wick. Okay, this is an interesting thing. This wick matters. This happened on news. Actually, the open of uh, of trading New York session, July 18th, a month ago. Let's see where that falls. Falls right there. Right here is where that line is falling you can see when i put my my crosshair on it you can see where the crosshair shows up here right there so it rejected right from there we see that very often by the way these wicks really do matter those powerful ones especially um, you can see what happened as a result of that buying explosive move to the upside very very big move so the wick fill is complete in other words we've come back down to the prior low you can see the wick here on the prior 30 minute candle and how prices have filled it again meaning that it's likely to make an attempt to go lower it may or may not be able to accomplish it one R is done we've reached one R on this my stop is now at break even I'm moving my stop to break even on this trade especially in view of the fact that we are severely extended here on the uh, two and a half standard deviations we've been below two and a half standard deviations for a long time now many 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 minutes whereas the nasdaq which was weaker earlier has remained above and the um, s p has found support on the two and a half standard deviations this thing is likely to uh is liable to snap back at any point here i'm going to protect the uh, the bag here so to speak and uh I'm putting the marker back where it is so you can see the relative size of the risk versus return but my stop is at break even now officially on my own platform and the way i'll show that is by doing this driving down a little bit lower here All right, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is put a 0.5 marker on. Because I may be taking this a little bit earlier, given what I'm seeing on, on the Three Sisters. Finding structural support here, double bottoming, and breaking above both EMAs with a threat of the EMA's crossing to bullish configuration. You see that there? That was the 245. Okay, stop to 1R. I'm very likely to get stopped out on this now on the snapback. Stop to 1R. I'm gonna move this to a one minute candle so you can see if it pulls back or not. I wanna make sure it's very transparent here what I'm doing. So immediately went to 1R from break even watching closely now hit 150 
now to 150 150 stop to 150 bear with me for one second and make sure my own platform is yeah okay here we go about to get stopped out on a pullback I'm good with it that flurry could be a blowout or a washout here we go and no st still in still in by a hair this will come back though and there it is guys out for 150r 1.5 R what I'm gonna do is what I've been doing lately is is uh, I'll pause the video and then come back and show you what happened next I'll be right back all right guys as promised bringing you back to see that we eventually actually did hit the full 2R target despite the extended nature of the move and you can see this is going to be by the looks of it a zone completion a complete zone straddle with one essentially one candle more or less one candle so this market is very vulnerable you can see up here in the daily that the bearishness just continues these cascading bars but I think I played that one uh, very well I'm very happy with with getting out there on that you saw that blitz candle down just kind of surge down and then snap back getting out at the 150 just locking in the sure thing especially given the overextension look at this three sisters I want to show this to you I mean this is you don't see this very often at all but trading deeply below the two and a half standard deviation mark um, whereas you know the, the Nasdaq is right on it and the S&P has now dropped below as well so this market is collapsing as we speak um, see where we are on the day yeah we're still down less than 1% on all three indices but it's a big intraday move and uh, thanks for being with me guys appreciate it so two trades today only and a very messy day one was a, uh, a two hour winner and then this 1.5 so 3.5 R on a messy deal like this I'm pretty happy with I'm very happy with actually and uh, thanks again for your support. Have an amazing night. We will talk to you soon. Take care.